Okay, on our second, on the second part of our actor who, actors who can sing journey. There we go. I will get it right eventually. And um, we're doing another Brit, Mr. Hiddleston, Thomas to be exact. Um, he played country music legend Hank Williams in the biopic I Saw the Light. Um, I personally think he did wonderful for a man that is not even from America to sing country music and also talk like an Alabaman. Um, a lot of the comments are very sweet towards Tom and a lot of them are actually hilarious and they're like, all I can see is Loki singing this song. Um, and then they changed the lyrics to what they think Loki would sing. <laughs> um, I chose this song because it's personally my favorite Hank Williams song. And it's probably the saddest. <laughs> At least to me. It's really sad. And people will say that when Tom sings it, it sounds even sadder. Which I don't even know how that is possible. Um... I hope I get lots of likes out of this. Because I know you Hiddles people are crazy. I see y'all all the time on Twitter. So I hope just Tom Hiddleston in the <laughs> like name of this gets people looking. And then I can be like, go watch I Saw the Light. Because it's actually a really good movie. Also, I've noticed that British actors really can sing because Danielle found out another British actor can sing. And do you want to share who that is? Benedict Cumberbatch. God, I was just waiting for Q Cumberbatch. I so had to control myself. I really wanted to say it. I blame Sebastian Sam. Benadryl Q Cumberbatch. I blame him for that. I'm telling you. Nobody would have known who I was talking about because I had a really faint of his real name. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes, yeah. him. Um, her guy, he can sing. So, yay, Ben. Another Brit. Now I'm like, can Henry Cavill sing? Um, if anybody has the answer, can you let me know and, like, send me a link? I appreciate it. All right. I'm going to stop rambling about all these British men. Um, We are about to get into Tom Hiddleston covering Hank Williams. I'm so lonesome I could cry. Oh, this is from the official soundtrack, by the way, guys. Hear that lonesome whippoorwill He sounds too blue to fly The midnight train is whining low I'm so lonesome I could cry Okay, we have to give credit where credit is due because Tom didn't wake up one day and was magically turned into Hank Williams. Um, the music producer of this movie, I saw a lot, was Mr. Rodney Crowell, who is an amazing country singer in his own right. And he took Tom underneath his wings and for like six to eight weeks, Tom literally lived in his basement and sung and yodeled every day to get Hank right. 
So we have to thank Rodney for working so tirelessly with Tom to get him to this point. Because seriously, without him, I saw the light would not be anything. Um, I think he did a great job, you know, just guiding Tom in the right direction. Tom already had natural singing ability, but to really be able to croon, as they say, and to yodel. Yes, yodel. He can still yodel. That never goes away. Once you learn it, you never unlearn it. Um, he also learned how to play the spoons at Rodney Crowell's house. Yeah, Google that. Tom Hiddleston spoons. It's very interesting. Danielle knows what I'm talking about. She's seen him do it. Yep, yep. <laughs> Just give him two spoons. This is what happens when you're bored at somebody's house and you're in the middle of nowhere and you have nothing else to do. Seriously, though, you could probably find it on Jimmy Kimmel. That's where he did it, right? It's like a hidden talent that's not hidden anymore. Yeah. He can play the spoons. And if you're like, what, what does that mean? I can't explain it to you. Except he can play the spoons. Yes, a spoon that you eat with. He can play them. Two of them. Um, it's kind of like... Yeah. Because <laughs> not everybody can do that. Um, he learned it from Rodney. Or, or the people around him while he stayed with Rodney. Um, but Danielle knows Rodney. She knows who I'm talking about. Um, and Rodney still to this day says the sweetest things about Tom and Tom does the same, but Tom has never said a bad word about anything or anybody because he's the nicest person alive. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Um, but them two, they created such a good bond and I have no doubt that's the reason why this movie was... In my eyes, a success. It might not have been, like, making billions at the box office, but I don't care about that. I thought it was a great movie. And I really did see Tom Hiddleston transform into Hank Williams. And like I said, he didn't just wake up and was able to do all that. So what you're hearing, Rodney Crowell deserves the credit. So let's continue. But I had to give a shout out to Rodney because Tom, he always gives the man credit. Okay, 
So, um, you don't really get to hear him sing that song in the movie, but I will tell you, um, my favorite part of when he does sing. Um, it's towards the end of it, and he's really sick. He's married to his second wife at this point, and it's about 10 minutes before the movie ends, and he sings Your Cheating Heart, and um, she kind of just looks at him as he's singing it, and he's not even a, he's not aware of his surroundings. He's just playing the guitar. And he looks sick. And he just sits there on the couch. And he just starts playing. And he's playing your cheating heart. Well, telling you. And that's one of my absolute favorite moments. Um, because vocally, I think he killed it. That song is really tough. And it's also one of my favorite Tom. My, one of my favorite Hank Williams songs. But Tom really, he like dug deep somewhere to sing that song. Um, it's a really good movie. And Elizabeth Olsen does fantastic as Audrey. Who really was as terrible as she seemed in the movie. Yeah. Um... Hank was a complicated and kind of miserable man. But in the very short life that he had, he changed country music for the better. And I don't think they could have chosen anyone better but Tom Hiddleston to play him. No. Tall drink of water. <laughs> And, um, I really enjoy hearing Tom's version and his voice. And I don't know, I'm crossing my fingers that one day he will pick up the guitar again. But like I said, we gotta give thanks to Rodney for helping Tom out because without him, we probably wouldn't have gotten... 60% of what Tom gave us. And he also learned a new talent. Two new talents. The man knows how to yodel and play the spoons. He's officially a southerner. I'm from the south and I don't know how to play the spoons. Nope. It's a talent. Like, literally, it's a, an art form. Mm -hmm. People. And he kind of gets embarrassed when he does it or is asked to do it. So definitely go find that interview <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see him play them. It's, he can do it on his leg, on his chest. I, I don't know. It, it's, it's just good quality Tom Hiddleston content. So why not? Like I said, Tom Hiddleston Spoons. Um, but anytime I can get Tom Hiddleston on this channel, I'm going to try to do it. <laughs> because I love that man. Uh, that's all, yeah, that's my word. Uh, I mean, come on. It's Tom Hiddleston. It is. That's all you gotta say. It's Tom Hiddleston. Another good thing to watch with him in it is the night manager. Okay. She can list you a long list of good things to watch with him in it. So she can list you oh, the weirdest movie that he's ever been in. That's because they got stuck in my brain. She did not like High Rise, but she almost saw his, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Like this close. It was there. That will make people want to go find this maybe. You can find, you can find the clip there. on YouTube, I'm sure. 
Let's just say he's very proud of his body, as he should be. Thanks for watching, guys, and indulging us and our girly talk. Sorry to all the fellas that watched this and was like, WTF, who gives a damn about Tom? I'm trying to listen to Hank. <laughs> uh, go listen to the real version. It's just as good. Probably better because it is Hank. Later, guys.